grind to the game, baby. Once you round me, you will never need shit. So don't frown, baby. Keep your eyes on the prize, baby. It's me. Damn, shorty, they don't cool, or they'll give your ass a blue nose. The way you walk around me, you make my head go. Ooh, ooh. Have you ever heard a nigga drink so much he needs juice? I just wanna do the impossible thing that he couldn't do. Show you out of my people, treat you like a princess, allow me to be your king. Buy you a cup of flour, purchasing a bottle so we can do our thing. Hey man, I think this is what episode three. Yes sir. Yes, sir. And three times, man, we've been here to make a movie. I just want everybody to say welcome back, Ocho Sneak. Yeah, I'm happy to be back, y'all. Shout out, my boy. Shout out, my boy. <laughs> hey man, so what's new, man? Since the last time we spoke, man, right now what's new is the new project I'm working on, which is uh, Hunger Story Three. Right now, we about to, we putting together that Hunger Story Three. And shit's about to drop very, very soon. Sooner than we expected. Put it to you that way. And for this project, how you finding your beats? Like, oh man, how I'm, you creating your vibe, man? <laughs> yeah, I can't say too much because this is a surprise for the most of y'all. But just know there's some valid beatmans, producers that's in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people, some names you already don't heard yourself. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little hint. I made it the first time through the same dude, and that's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, so you working with the same producer from your first one? <laughs> gotcha, My brother. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, we about to go Mayweather. <laughs> what would you say is your uh, number one single right now? Uh, the, the, from the project. Yeah. I would say, man, my favorite all time so far, by far, is um. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. That's, that's my favorite by far. And what inspired that? Oh man, my whole life. I'm rapping about what I live, where I was coming from, from the streets to being in the industry to being outside and drop and, and, and dropping dead to the face of the earth when it comes to the industry and the music and coming right back and seeing how I came back like I never left type shit. Well, in your mind, you left because to us, you, no, you, yeah, you, you was I mean, always. And we were just waiting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, you know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I know. Saying? But okay, so standing ovation is going to be your single. That's my. That's I wouldn't say it's going to be the single, but that's my favorite at the project. The single, I'm still debating. No, I'm glad you said that though. That's yeah. your favorite. So that's let me favorite. tell you what mine is. All right. Talk, talk. So you got this record called "Like This," and if mm -hmm. anybody has not heard it, I need you to go on YouTube right now and type in Ocho Sneak "Like This." The video is now out. Just break down what inspired that record. That record, man, and I, I would say, man, that record right there was mostly what inspired it was uh, the you know the the ups and down that I was going through when I was in a relationship. You know, um, and how can I say, man, I just I just felt like I needed to express how I feel because too many, you know, nowadays us dudes, we in the face of a female, we can't express shit without looking weak. You know what I'm saying? So I, I put all the expression in my music, you know, you sounded like you was in love, though. It, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm giving it, it make me feel like I want to take my girl out to right. get, get a filet mignon or something. You but, know you know, I mean? you know, it. it, it is it I'm talking about the beauty of in the first like when you in a relationship and everything is going good for the couple of months that you guys just not like got, the honeymoon phase the hon the honeymoon phase but uh, in, but okay. somewhere around there you know I'm also speaking on uh uh what you call it the downfall of it you know when when after the honeymoon the honeymoon <laughs> phase you know but uh and and to be honest the record is not even based on what whatever I went through in that case of a relationship. But I, 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 it's more so it's for everybody to whoever hear it and might feel the same way as, you know, as they hear the record. Cause everybody, you know, everybody got their own ways and their own situation that they live with. So that record, I made it just for those who, you know, can't express themselves but want to express themselves. You know, I feel that. I feel that. All right, so November, it's November 1st. Who's Ocho voting for, man? 
Shit, shit, you put me on the spot. <laughs> hey, man, I told you. Hey, man. Trump, let me tell you something. Hey, I ain't mad at you, bro. <laughs> hey, who can I vote for? <laughs> that's the, that's hey. the only nigga right now that maybe, maybe, but it's like, don't let me down, my brother, because you know, <laughs> we, we, we try. No, but don't forget, he held us down during COVID. Which he did. Everybody which he did. was very comfortable during COVID. And which let me he did. just say he was the president during that. Um, also, this is like my third video I seen today where everybody's voting Trump and they want it to be known. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, this ain't the time to hold your tongue. You know, if that's how you feel, that's how we going to rock. I, I I don't know who I'm voting for yet, but I might be leaning towards, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to be real. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the middle right now. I can't really tell you for sure uh, who I really want to vote for, but push, cut, and shove. I might have to go that route. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And with that being said, we'll leave it at that. we leave it at that. All righty. So I did a little investigating today, and I found out you did a feature with an artist called Connect. Connect. K-N-E-K. -E Connect. Damn, how long that was. <laughs> that was probably about seven months ago, I believe. Connect. Oh. Called, yeah. The song record was called The Goat. Oh, my boy, my boy. You talking about West, man, my boy. You talking about the gold, right? The, the Christian music. Is the Christian record? I don't know. It says K-Net. K-Net, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Ocho Sneak. Big shout out to my boy K-Net, man. Big shout out to him, man, because he put me on to the Christian music. You know, I'm a real... Oh, so I'm, that's a Christian song. That's a Christian song. He a Christian artist, man. Okay. And I, you know, I, I, I ride and die for my, for my Lord and Savior, so... You know, I had to come in and, 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 and hop on one of them vibes as well, you know? I got to listen to it again. I was more so listening for the vibe. I, I wasn't listening for the mm -hmm. lyrics. But I wanted to ask you a question. When you do do a feature, do you do it in the studio with the artist? Or is it sent to you and you got to kind of put your spin on it? Um, With cer certain people, uh, I do it in the studio. You know, like 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 Nick, you know what I mean? Uh, the GOAT. Uh, with him, I did it in the studio. Most people, I do it in the studio, you know, and sometimes, depending on, to be honest, I leave it all to the feature on how they feel. Sometimes I know that they already have the record ready and they just want to just pass it over and just have me do my own thing and pass it back. So I, I work either way. That's just that's just me. I feel that. So do you write your verse in the studio or do you already come with it ready? No, nah, if, if, if we... Talked about coming into the studio and do a record. I usually just wait till I get there and just write it in front of their face or front and just just peep out the vibe. You know, I like the I like the vibe when I'm in the studio. So I just most most of the time I do it in the studio, basically. So you can capture the moment type shit. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is there anything you want to tell your fans? Like any any news or. Upcoming events you want them to get ready for? Uh, I just want to let y'all know, thank you for supporting me, staying by my side, even on the time that I said, you know, I wasn't going to come back, but you guys stayed by my side and you guys pushed me to come back, you know. And all I want to say is, man, I got a gift for you guys. Like I keep saying from the beginning of this interview, you know, I got a gift for y'all on Hunger Story 3. It's a special bonus you know what i mean record that i'm dedicating it just for you guys you know what i mean and i appreciate you guys for even continuously uh supporting me and the team and how about rolling loud oh man i'm that's that's where that's that's where we pushing it to you know that's that's really the step that i want to get to performing rolling loud you know i almost did one time uh zoe dollar was bringing me in at the time but i came late so I fucked it up. But, hey, let me tell you something. It's never too late. <laughs> you know. All right, visualizer for your fans. We're in the club. They give you a menu. They say, Ocho, three bottles on us. What three bottles are you bringing out? Don Julio. <laughs> let me get it, Don Julio. <laughs> hey, you know I got to have that Don Julio in there. Uh, well, hold on. Blanco, yeah. Anejo, or Reposado? 
You want me to tell you the honest truth? Of course. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I don't know any one of them. <laughs> damn, <nigga. laughs> I, don't, I don't even drink like that. <laughs> I'm the type of dude, I grab whatever is thrown to me. <laughs> okay, I got you. So three bottles of Dawn. I'll say Dawn. Got to go with my OG because that's, that's what started all this. Henny. Got to have a hand dog. Got to have the hand dog. I know everybody throwing it away, but hey, listen, I'm here to catch it. Um... I'll say Hendo. Uh, I, I like Duce too, man. I'm, I'm more of a dark liquor type of dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like the white. White get me crank. It get me, you know, committing sins. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of sins, do you gamble? No, I don't really. Uh, in the past, I did. In the past, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll well, I'll, like fantasy or... Oh, you talking about that gamble? I thought you were talking about. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about dice. <laughs> that too. I mean, no, because I was gonna ask, do you feel like is gambling becoming uh, a bigger addiction than alcohol? I, in a sense, I, I, I feel like.